Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas. I feel like it's been so long since I've sat down to chat with you guys, but I got sick over Christmas and then I was just trying to relax and spend as much time with my family and friends as I could. And that's why I haven't seen you in a while, but I'm really excited to get back into filming and I'm gonna kick off 2020 by sharing my what I got for Christmas video with you guys. And I just wanna let you know, if it sounds like I'm a little bit nasally, it's because I'm still sick. I've got a stuffy nose and a sore throat but I'm gonna try and power through this video for you guys because I love what I got for Christmas videos. They're so much fun. And if you guys like them too, and you've been binge watching them on YouTube over the last few days, then give this one a big thumbs up because I would really appreciate it. So if you watched my girl boss gift guide video that I posted on my channel a couple weeks ago, I actually put a lot of those things that I put in that video also on my Christmas wish list. So I was very glad that Aaron actually got me a lot of those things for Christmas. And the first thing that he got me was this insignia camera remote. So I'm really excited to be able to do a lot more with my camera by myself. I won't have to have him to help me like focus the camera and take pictures. I don't know how I like worked on YouTube without having a camera camera remote for so long, but this is going to be really convenient for videos in 2020. The next thing I want to show you guys that I got for Christmas is this portable HD webcam. It's by the brand Logitech. I hope I'm saying that right, but I really wanted a portable webcam that was actually high quality or higher quality than the one that comes in my MacBook because I'm planning on doing a lot of live streams and free trainings to go along with the course that I'm releasing at the end of January. So that's why I really wanted this webcam and I'm so happy that Aaron came through and got me one for Christmas. The next thing I got for Christmas are these super cozy reading socks. These are from Chapters, which is a bookstore here in Canada. And I have been eyeing these for so long and I put them on my Christmas list because I thought they would be so cozy for Christmas morning to read one of my new books in. And they're so fuzzy, like the inside is fleece and they literally go up to your knees. Like they're almost like a blanket for your legs. They are so soft and like, I'm gonna literally spend every single day in these in the winter time. Another gift that I got for Christmas this year is this St. Tropez self tanner. My skin is literally so white in the winter time. I'm almost translucent and I'm really excited to try out this self tanner. Like my skin is so white that there's not even really a foundation that goes with my skin tone. I use the lightest foundation that I can possibly find and it's still too orange for my skin. So this will hopefully help like even me out and give me a little bit of a sun kiss glow even in the winter time. I haven't started reading this book yet, but I am so excited to dive in. It's The $100 Startup by Chris Gillibo, and it's all about reinventing the way you make a living, do what you love, and create a new future. So in this book is basically a whole bunch of case studies of people that Chris Gillibo helped turn their hobby into a side hustle, or he helped them start a business out of something that they were already doing just as a hobby or just as something that, you know, like they were doing for fun. And he he helps them make money and start their own business, basically starting from scratch with nothing. And that's why it's called the hundred dollar startup. So you guys know that I love everything about starting a business and being a girl boss and turning your hobbies into side hustles. So that's why I am super pumped to get some new ideas from this book. The next gift I want to show you guys is actually another one from my girl boss gift guide that Aaron got for me. And it's this phone tripod. So another thing that I want to do in 2020 is do more Instagram stories and Instagram lives and this will make it so much easier. I can just put my phone on the tripod on a table and then just talk to you guys rather than having to like hold my phone for 10 minutes or something. So yeah, I'm super excited about this and this tripod, you can actually hook up a microphone to it too. So yeah, very convenient. One of my bigger Christmas gifts this year came from my parents and that is a new desk chair. They got it from Ikea. It's so comfortable and it's white, so it'll perfectly match my office aesthetic. But something happened when me and Aaron and we're trying to put the chair together, we actually put the handles on backwards or like the armrests on backwards and then we couldn't get the screws out. So we're not really sure what we're gonna do because now like the arms are on backwards and we can't get them off. 
So we can't finish putting the chair together, but I will insert a clip of what the chair looks like right now without the back on it. It's kind of a train wreck and I was so excited for that chair. So I'm really hoping that we can fix it and put it back together. Another present that Erin got me for Christmas this year is a beautiful gray mirror. I really wanted one to put in my dining room because I had seen a few pictures on Pinterest that were my inspiration and it looks so beautiful. It's really, really big. It goes like almost to the ceiling, to the floor. And I want to put a little rug underneath it with a bar cart and some nice like glasses on top of it since it's going to be in our dining room. But I'll put a little clip in here so that you guys can see what it looks like. But I really do love it. And it was one of my favorite Christmas gifts this year. These are the kind of Christmas gifts that you get when you become an adult. <laughs> and that is two baking pans. But I'm actually really excited about these baking pans because I didn't have a good set and I make a lot of casseroles and stuff for dinner. So I'm really excited to use these. They're gray and speckled and super cute. I can also use these for like brownies and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to try out some new recipes with these. It comes with two, so like a really big one and then a smaller one. And yeah, I really like these. I think they were from Winners or Home Sense. The last two Christmas gifts that I want to talk to you guys about are these two makeup products. So this one is the Blushed Nudes Palette by Maybelline, and it has all of these really beautiful pink shades in it. They're super shimmery and nice. I haven't bought makeup for myself in so long, so that's why I put some makeup on my Christmas list, and my mom got me this super beautiful palette. I really never do my makeup, but I want to try and do more of it in 2020 just because I think it's a really fun way to express yourself and Erin really likes when I do my makeup too. So I'm gonna do that maybe for some date nights in the new year. And then I also got this lipstick from CoverGirl in the shade Gemini and I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. It's a really nice pink shade and it's matte because I love matte lipsticks. It's like the only formula that I wear because I like lipstick that actually stays on and I find if it's not matte, it just goes off my lips in like five minutes. But yeah, yeah, that's about everything that I got for Christmas. I also got some little chocolates and lotions and stuff like that, but I didn't bother putting it in the video. I really hope you like seeing everything that I got for Christmas. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know what you got for Christmas because I would love to hear about it. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button too so that you can join our YouTube family. I have my Instagram, Facebook, website, all of that stuff linked down below for you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!